So at the beginning of the story, we see a girl's car, which was standing in the forest. There was no idea about her where she was, but she was getting calls from her mother again and again on her phone. Then we hear her mother's voice, in which she says, please come home wherever you are. Her mom tells her that a few days ago, a boy came into my daughter's life, but he cheated her and ran away due to which she is in shock. She says, please, daughter, come home. Don't take any wrong step. If anything happens to you, I will not be able to live. That girl had taken her life by now. Her body is seen covered in pollen. Pollen is a yellow moss-like layer, which is often found on plants and trees. The pollen was fixed on that girl. We will know why this was so later in the story. Then later in the story, we are shown a girl named Hera, who is very simple in appearance. She started a job in a company just a day ago, with which she was very happy. It can be said that she got everything exactly as she wanted, but she was so simple that if any girl in the office teased her or made fun of her, she could not understand things. Tara's mom and dad were not in this world. She had only one elder sister who, after her divorce, she used to stay with Hera along with her daughter. Hera liked a boy in her office whose name was Zack. She also often goes out with him. One day, on return, Zack drops Hera at her house and also gifts her a plant. Zack tells her to stay with me. If you move forward alone, people will not let you live. He was trying to say that if she left him, since she might lose her job. Here we come to know that Zack was a mean boy. He just wanted to take advantage of Hera. That very night, he stayed in her house. But Hera refuses him, but he forcibly comes to her house and spends the whole night with Hera. When she wakes up in the morning, she is very sad that Zack took advantage of her, but she didn't tell anything about it to anyone because she loved her career and job very much. She didn't want her job to be in danger because of all these things, so she kept all these things within herself. Hera often has the shadow of the tree monster at night. Whenever she turned on the light and looked, there was no one there. That is why she slept very little. She had no friends, and now even Zack had left her. Now she talks to the plant given by Zack. She sees that when Zack came to her house that night, he left his jacket at her house. So Hera sends him a voice message, asking him to come and take his jacket. But later she changes her mind and decides to keep that jacket with her because she loved Zack. The next day, she goes to the office very well dressed so that Zack might change his heart after seeing her. When she reaches the office, the head leader comes and says, Don't come to the office so well dressed. You don't meet the clients. Zack comes to her and says, I have kept the medicine on your table. You should eat it because whatever happened between us on that night, I don't want anything wrong to happen to you. Hera says, look, listen to me, sit together and talk, but he says, no. Now I will meet you again, only if you spend a night with me again. He tells her that I don't love you. He abused her and went away from there. Hera becomes very sad after hearing all these things, and goes to the bathroom and takes the medicine. Then her colleague comes to her who often teases her. She says that if anyone comes to know about the story of you and Zack, then you know what will happen to you. You will lose your job. Having said this, she left from there. And then the light of the bathroom started flickering on and off. Seeing this, Hira got scared. When after some time the lights got fixed and she came out, she saw that there was a layer of yellow pollen on the bathroom door, which she was very surprised to see, after which her boss called her to the office. He says, Hira, your work is going well. I am happy with your work. At night, Hira's sister comes to her house, who had gone somewhere for a few days. They eat food together. She wanted to tell her sister what was happening, but did not tell. Hira's sister also had a small daughter, who was sitting in drawing. When Hira asked her the meaning of drawing, she told her that when our teacher died, she kept it in a bag. Later, flowers started to grow on her body. When Hira hears all these things, she feels very strange. After which her sister also got ready and was going somewhere. She leaves her daughter with Hera and goes somewhere. After some time, Hera sleeps, and when she wakes up and looks, she does not find her anywhere in the house. Hera is very worried about where her sister's daughter has gone. When she comes out in search of her, she sees her sister's daughter turning into a tree monster. Seeing this, she gets very scared. Then her eyes open, meaning it was just a dream of hers. Then the doorbell rings. Hera's sister has come back. She tells Hera that she enjoyed a lot with her friend. Here Hera tells her sister about her and Zack. 
collapsed and she started crying because Hira still loved him. When Hira's sister goes to her room, she finds her daughter on opening the cupboard. She was very scared. She says that she has seen the tree monster. Hearing her words, Hera was convinced that there is indeed a tree monster which she has also seen. But her sister thinks this is all just a story. The next day, when Hera goes to the office, Zack makes fun of her by sitting with the same colleague who used to tease Hera earlier. He takes Hera to the meeting room on the pretext of talking about something, where all the seniors were sitting there making fun of Hera. Hera came out and sat on the stairs crying a lot and started waiting for Zack to come out so that she could talk to him. She was so madly in love with him that she was ready to accept his every condition. But Zack says that I don't need you anymore. I have found someone else. Hearing this, Hera becomes very sad, and while crying, she gets a cold, and then yellow-colored liquid comes out from her nose. Seeing this, she gets very upset. When she goes to the bathroom and sees it, she even vomits blood from her mouth. Now she can also see the tree monster there. She is very scared by all these things and starts screaming. Their head leader was also in that bathroom, who scolded Hera a lot that she should not have made such noise. She was very fed up with all these things. That is why she also talks to her sister on the phone. Now every night at night, Hira used to have scary dreams. And also saw the tree monster. One day, her team leader tells Hira that the boss has selected you for higher training. She is calling you to his room. When Hira goes to her boss, he tells Hira to forget all the things because he knows about Zack and Hira's affair. And tells her to devote more time to her job. She was very happy with all this. When she comes out, she sees the girl, who used to always tease her. She had written wrong things about her on a note and pasted it on his plant. Seeing this, she gets very angry. She scolds the girl and says, Stay away from my things, don't even come close to them. Then the girl starts teasing Hira by taking Zack's name, because Zack had told her about all the things. Hira gets angry after hearing all this, and in anger, she grabs the girl's hair and then a yellow color liquid comes out from her nose. Now Hera becomes more worried. She doesn't understand what is happening to her. One night, after drinking too much, she goes to her office and puts salt inside the plant of that annoying girl so it can be dwindled, and then does strange things and falls asleep there. She sees the tree monster again in her dreams. In the morning, when everyone comes to the office and sees Hera in this condition, they are surprised. The girl also comes and tells Hera, who used to tease her. What is she doing here? Stay away from her things. She knows that she is the one who has spoiled her plant. Hera gets very angry after hearing all this. She takes a pen and hits it on the girl's leg. After which Hera was fired from her job. She comes and sits outside the office. Then her boss comes to her. He says, don't worry, you will get a job somewhere else. But you have done a wrong thing. Now I can't keep you in the office again. The boss was actually the wrong person. He was showing so much love to Hera because he wanted to take advantage of her just like Zack. Hera understands this, so she goes from there. Now Hera was very sad mentally. She goes home and first gets very angry on the plant, which was given to her by Zack. But as soon as her anger subsides, she talks a lot about the same plant. One day, Hera's sister's daughter breaks the plant, on which Hera slaps her because she considers that plant as her child. But her sister's daughter says that the tree monster had told her to do so. Hira was fed up with everything that was happening in her life so far. So she goes to Zack for help. But no one in the office lets her in. Now Hira's sister comes out who takes her in a car and takes her. Hira tells her sister about the same night when she was with Zack. Hearing all these things, her sister explains to her and tells her that my daughter wants to apologize to you because she broke your plant. Tira says, no, she doesn't need to apologize. I also shouldn't have slapped her at that time. After which Hira now buries that plant in the soil and starts crying in its grief. Now the tree monster comes to her who starts living with her. She used to stay with it and talk to it. Tira thought of killing herself because a lot of things had gone wrong in her life. Then Zack comes to her house, who probably had come to do wrong to her again. This time Hera is not afraid, she kills Zack with a knife, and then digs a grave in her own garden and buries him. The next morning, Hera was with her sister. She also apologized to her daughter. Everything was fine between them. Hera moved on well in her life, the tension of her job also ended.
Next, she thought that somewhere she would get another job. It seemed as if she had come to peace after killing Zack. She goes out with her sister and her daughter, in front of whom the tree monster was standing. These three were looking at it without any fear. So in fact it is told in this story that the tree monster was visible only to those people who were going through trauma in their lives. Like Hera, she was a good girl. But people did not let her live a straight life. They took advantage of her. She kept on suffocating inside about Zack and other things. But when her plant was broken, then only she understood that she shouldn't live with these things. She has to move ahead in her life. And that tree monster appeared to her sister and her daughter because they too had tolerated many things in their life. So never let people take advantage of you be strong. Never let anyone feel that you are weak in front of them. So in this movie, we get to know two stories. One is the girl we saw at the beginning of the story. The one who was fed up with her life and took her life. And the other is Hera who had done everything right in life. And with this, the story of this film also ends here.